Hi Vinyl community, it's me back again and I just want to shoot a video. I've tried to do a recent Vinyl Finds now two takes but I don't feel like it today. But I really want to, to address uh, Stefan and thank him for the VCLT. I uh, got it a week ago, something like that, and I've been listening to it and I'm so grateful. Just want to shoot this video quick to show what I got. Uh, and I hope the records I sent to you uh, comes uh, soon and that you're digging them. Um, sent me three records. This is the first one, the Nitz Omsk, 1983 record, Dutch post-punk band turned uh, into art rock with this record. And I really dug this. This is cool. I don't like the 80s kind of production on most of these kind of records, but I thought that this was really cool. Uh, it reminds me a little bit, but I may be wrong here, but it reminds me a little bit about... Um, <laughs> I forgot the name now. Yeah, just brain fart. Okay, moving on. Uh, Vår de overlevenden, I think you pronounce it like that. Von uh, de Groot. Now I know I don't pronounce it like that. You don't pronounce it like that. This is a um, Dutch singer songwriter, one of, of um, um, Stefan's favorite ones, he said on a note. And it's a first press, I think it's a first press on Decca. Sounds great. Uh, and it's really good. I, I like his style of singing. Now I don't understand the words, uh, but and the music is pretty good too. So so fantastic record. One that I wouldn't pick up, uh, and I don't think I I would ever find in in Sweden. So thank you so much for that. Uh, but the record that started it all uh, was this one. I don't know if it was I, that I saw a video of yours where you showed it, and I said that I. I mean, I didn't jump on it when it came out, but I wanted to. But I had other uh, prioritations. And after a while, it just got out of print and went up to silly money. So I was I kind of bummed out because of that. But you said that you didn't like it, so we could do a trade. And that's what happened. And I think this is back in October or something like that. Um, so... Finally, I can add uh, Mundo Khan to my collection, uh, Mike Patton's Mundo Khan record. Um, and if you don't know this record, Mike Patton was in uh, Fate No More, the singer for Fate No More, and he's done a lot of, of stuff. He's one of those musicians who does 10, 15 records a year, a year uh, in different collaborations and solo stuff and bands and stuff like that, production. Um, and this is, he went to living in Italy, didn't like the music in Italy, but he liked the 50s and 60s pop music, orchestral pop music that he heard. So this is a cover record of that uh, time period. A lot of Ennio Morricone, Cone, Cone. Uh, so the gatefold or trifold is just to die for. Look at that. Okay. Um, I'll show you it in the sleeve too, it's kind of rad. Uh, there we go, and the back side, side, thick vinyl, sounds great. And I've heard this maybe a hundred times on digital or Spotify. Uh, so I, I knew the record inside out, but sounds so good on my record player and fantastic package. It's so thick that it doesn't uh, go into an ordinary sleeve. So you have to put it in like this. And I have another record, uh, or a few records, but one that uh, sticks out it is uh, Meshuggah's Destroy Racing Proof. You have to do, do it like this on that too. Uh, so, but yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you like the records I'm sending you. Uh, especially one of them is, is a total, totally a gem in Swedish prog and, and the other two are Swedish prog and jazz rock records that are, are uh, pretty, pretty badass too so I hope you, you like it. Let me know when you get the package Stefan but thank you so much again and I mean I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.